question is whether uh, big box uh, retailers return enough to their communities or, or, or are they a big funnel that takes the money and shoots it to Arkansas? And it's a complex answer to that question. Our community benefits from companies being here in financial ways and in other ways. Uh, and that's the joy of having local companies because they're invested in the community in a way that a big box real retailer is not. There's always been a natural alliance between um, community organizations and the local business community. Often we're asked to help out with fundraisers and that sort of thing. Definitely, we, our community gets an A. Our small business community scores highly for supporting local entities. You have these two piles, and on this side is what large businesses give, and on this side of what small businesses give. The dollar amount is probably equal. The number of players is not at all equal. You have a few players over here who give this amount of money, but you have a lot of players over here. Now, what's important to the charitable enterprise is uh, often as important as the dollars that they receive are the volunteer base that they get to, do their, to provide their services. This pile gives a lot more of that because it's all very hands-on. Since none of us can, you know, give thousands of dollars, donations to different causes in town, we decided that we would get together every year and do one big event. And that event has been the Feed the Community Festival. Lost out in the woods, looking for you. When, when will you come back home? Second Harvest for all your wonderful work in this community and that's why we're all out here to raise food, money and awareness about the issue of hunger in our community. It's a great way for all of us to get out here. Um, we all work really hard. We're in our shops and our studios and our businesses and this is a chance for us to be out in the sunlight visiting, selling our wares and do a great charity event. So it's one of our favorite events of the whole year. So we figure we raised, um, boy, I haven't done the math but I'm sure we you know, somehow can serve up about 18,000 meals out of what we raised that day, if not more. And I have seen um, the, the total personnel force of businesses out in support of a charitable enterprise from this pile of people. Very seldom that you see that level of passion from uh, a big giver. A corporation does not have a conscience. A corporation does not have a personality. They have lots of um, advertising dollars to spend on making you think that they do have a personality, but they truly are not a person and they truly are not responsible to anybody but their shareholders. Whereas to me, if you came to me as a customer and you weren't happy with something in my store, it's me. I, I mean, it's me who's behind this business. It's me who cares about whether you're happy or not and whether or not you're finding what you need. and. I don't, I'm not responsible to anybody else but my employees, my community, and my customers. That's it. That's the joy of the local retailer, the small retailer. They have the time uh, for you and they have the expertise for you. You never dream of asking such a question in Walmart because their staff is hired simply to stock the shelves and check you out when you get there. That's, that's the very definition of a big box retailer. If you shop at those big box stores, basically somebody else with an idea of what you should like is deciding what your choices will be and they're very limited really by keeping an independent business community healthy and by shopping locally owned you have an opportunity to tell the owner what you like. We need more small independent businesses, you know what I mean? That keeps things unique, you know, because everything is pretty generic in this country as far as like stores they're all pretty much the same thing wherever you go you know every mall is the same thing too so i'm kind of over that wait a minute i can see through the corporate haze and there's some little bright spots you know and we can get food and go to coffee shops and buy vintage clothes and comic books and and wait they all know each other and it's all cool and there's still places available and like maybe i could do something or i could work for one of these people and learn some stuff it's like every year we snag 
a few more people with energy and vision and an idea that they would like to be part of something that's a little different than what you get everywhere else. Educated people making educated economic decisions. And every time we spend some money at somewhere that's not corporate, knocking another stone out of their foundation. And eventually they're just gonna fall over. They're gonna be like, we don't know what the deal is with Tallahassee, but we can't make any money there. Yeah, that's kind of a fantasy. I'd like to see it happen, but we're building something, all of us. If you ever need something, come see us. Us and our cats.